We are dishing on movies! So we just made this amazing homemade ketchup. And now the next step, we're going to be making our signature Frankenweenies. And I'll tell you right now, nobody's doing this. We've got baking powder, baking soda, salt, two eggs, all-purpose flour, buttermilk, cornmeal. I prefer yellow for the signature kind of corn dog look. And then two kinds of sausage. We're using regular beef hot dogs and a beef bratwurst. But you can use whatever you'd like. Here's what you're going to do. Okay. Go ahead and add your everything but the buttermilk into this mixing bowl. All right. And I'm going to cut these hot dogs and the beef beer brats. I am so excited to eat this, by the way. By the way, me too. I think this is kind of cool because, you know, the whole Frankenstein movie is a dog coming back to life because of its kid owner. Yeah. And it's placed together, various animals brought together. Like sure. <laughs> no, I think this is so clever. Like I, I love, I love this. I love this whole idea. I love everything about it. It's so cool. So what I like to do is I take the skewer and I insert it in the bottom of. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Normally you have to buy a new drink first before I do this, but uh, you know. And then I just put. I like to put the two cut ins together. I just think it makes it fry look like a real corn dog. And right there, folks, that's a Frankenweenie that's that I ever saw one, right? Sure, sure. Go ahead and fill a pot with just vegetable oil. You want it to get to about 350 degrees so it will fry this up really nicely. All right, go ahead and grab your whisk now, and you're going to whisk that together. You don't have to worry about it if one's thicker than the other because they're going to fry. They're already cooked. We just are frying them to get the breading brown. Can you eat a, just a raw hot dog? You could eat a raw hot dog, but it doesn't really taste great. You need the browning. That makes it taste good, or at least warm. But you can eat a cold hot dog. I know those canned Vienna sausages. Oh, yeah. You can eat those cold. That's basically a hot dog. Those aren't good, though. Well, you know, some I mean, people love them. Some people do. My dad used to eat those a lot. Yeah, look, I got this situation happening. I should have said that you just want to add it last. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, you know, <laughs> should I pour the milk over top of this or something? Here's a trick. If you're, if you're feeling it stuck in a beater, just spread it open. You see how easy that came out? Oh, yeah. You did a perfect. Just spread it open. So now go ahead and you're going to add the buttermilk. Okay. What's your favorite Tim Burton movie, by the way, since we're talking about it? Oh, uh, you know I have a soft spot for Edward Scissorhands. Oh, that is a good one. one. It's when really another writer was sane. <laughs> <laughs> she just didn't steal yet. Oh, awesome. she was so yet. cute. Um, I'm a big uh, Mars Attacks fan. I like Mars Attacks. Well, I don't know. I didn't know that that was Tim Burton. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. I love that one. Wow, that's crazy. And Batman Returns. Well, yes, and Batman Returns. That's, that, actually, I think that's my favorite. So, this is what it looks like. Yeah, it looks great. You want to see that? Deliciously clumpy. <laughs> okay, so here's what we want to do now. It makes it easy. We have to dip these Frankenweed. So, go ahead and pour that batter into that cup. How we're going to make these Frankelinis. I'm going to push these up a little bit so that the spike is not there. We don't want somebody biting down and getting <laughs> <laughs> a little surprise. <laughs> yeah. In order to help the cornmeal batter stick to the corn dog rather to the hot dog, I'm just going to coat it with a little bit of flour. Just a little bit. It's getting real intimate right now. Okay, now you're going to go ahead and take that hot dog. I go in there once, that's way better. Way better. It's way better. <laughs> okay, and you're just making sure it's coated and give it a little bit of a grouty swish to make sure that it kind of the extra comes off. And then we're gonna just drop it right into the grease. And I wanna turn it just to make sure that it doesn't stick to the bottom. Now, as we said, this oil is at 350 degrees. So it's just best to do it one at a time? You can do it one at a time. For me, it helps you have control. Yeah, I get a balanced cook. You know, the more things you put in fried oil, the lower the temperature gets. It actually drops it. Oh. It has to do with the energy exchange, and we'll get into the nerd alert of that. <laughs> but when you do it one at a time, it makes sure that the one thing cooks perfectly. Now, what would be great, Dale, if since this is raw, this is hot, to sprinkle with a little bit of a fine sea salt. It just makes a little gourmet, you know. You know. And you want to do it while the mixture, when it first comes out of the oil, so that the salt sticks to the corn dog. It's a 
It's a lie! Oh. I just came up for making corn dogs. I know. I'm sorry. Frank and Okay. I got one coming up for you, Dale, for a little seesaw action. I'm ready. See, I do things. What? And child, it is hot up over this oil, okay? I bet. Probably sweat out this weave. <laughs> but here's another kind of insider secret. Because these take really no time at all to fry, uh -huh. I don't want to use a cold hot dog because you run the risk of hot batter, cold frying oh, right. meat. So go ahead and make sure that your wieners are room temperature. <laughs> we might need to refill our batter. Oh, you want more batter? Yeah, more batter. Batter up. So Dale, I just did these six. It's time for you to dip it and stick it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is that gymnastics or what is that? I, I think so. <laughs> it is a gymnastics. <laughs> Look at that beautiful Frankenweenie. Thank you. I get compliments all the time. <laughs> now go ahead and uh, dip it in the oil. Just drop it right down. Perfect. And here's what you want to do. I'll give you the tongs. You just want to make sure you're slightly letting it kind of move around. You don't want it to kind of it'll hold the stick. Let's actually hold the stick. You see how it got so brown so quickly? Yeah. But you still want it a little bit more darker. Yeah. By moving it around like that, you're making sure that it's not over one hot spot at any given time too long. That makes sense. Yeah. If we had a deep, like a deep fryer, you basically would just hold it down. So looks good now, go ahead and take it out. Look, we actually got a little Frankie Weenie Dale one. That one's so cute. If you touch his tail, it'll bark. Don't touch it. Oh, I'm pretty sure. That's unscientific, but it sounds delicious. I know, it does sound delicious. <laughs> oh, he's happy. Oh, he's <laughs> happy. <laughs> so we just made two really easy, really delicious homemade recipes. The first, a wonderful, savory and tangy homemade ketchup. And the second one, delicious homemade frankenweenies. So let's see that final product. Oh, look at that. Delicious. Beautiful corn dog frankenweenie. Wanna get our frankenweenie on? Let's get it on. You want the tail? Ready? Oh, I definitely want the tail. <laughs> okay. Oh, that ketchup. So thick, it coats a hot dog. It's perfect. It's just right. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, you guys. Mmm. Mm. This is why I love dishing on the movies. Mm-hmm. Mmm. We have fun. We have good eats. And we're here for pretty cheap, too. All the cheap. This is really great. Yeah. All right, well, y'all enjoy yours. We'll see you next time. Mmm, this is really good. Mm. We are dishing on movies. I think we're Oh, Chris, winter. <laughs>